Courage Life Jackets. That is the message from the drowning prevention groups today as the number of drowning deaths continues to climb and the numbers up again. A mother and a son both pulled from Grapevine Lake last week. They have now died. Jason Allen live in Fort Worth for us today at 5 o'clock. Jason, Grapevine now triple the fatal lake drownings from last year. Uh, yeah, Doug, and all of those happened in about eight weeks, and uh, we still have a good six weeks of the summer still to go. So, like this one, drowning prevention groups are not just focusing on teaching kids how to swim, but how when they see someone else struggling, having them learn how to prevent from becoming a victim themselves. For nearly a week, there was hope that a 13 year old and his mother, both rescued from Lake Grapevine, would survive. The medical examiner confirmed, though, that Aiden Rock from Grand Prairie died Sunday night. And although not officially identified yet, police said his mother, who tried to rescue her son, passed as well. You need to have a plan when you go to a body of water for, for you know, just in case something tragic happens. As president of Fort Worth Drowning Prevention Coalition, James Fike told us it's easy to get discouraged during a summer with regular drownings. Averaging just over four drownings per year, Lake Grapevine is now at six. And through mid July, child drowning statewide are up to 58. Fike says while well, life jackets are still a priority for all swimmers in open water, they're also trying to teach children and adults the right way to help someone in distress. If you go to rescue somebody, they've lost all reason. They don't know, they don't care that you're a loved one, a family member, brother, sister, mother, daughter, it doesn't matter. Their only thought is survival. And so they will push you down under for that extra bit of time it buys them to stay up above the water. It happened in May in Granbury when a high school senior attempted to help his friend and both drowned. And Fike says they're trying to teach people to throw, don't go, as in throw something buoyant and fight the instinct to just jump in and help. You have to have your wits about you and you have to think about yourself. You're not doing them any favors by also drowning. So that's become the focus of the event that's uh, being held here within the next hour and a half or so tonight. Not so much teaching people how to swim, but how to make sure that they can survive and help others survive in the water. Live tonight in Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.